So recently we posted on our Instagram feed that we've been messing around with the Fellow Prismo, which is this cool little tool that uh, Fellow made to go alongside your AeroPress. Um, everybody was interested in our recipe, uh, so we thought we'd just make a quick little video to show you what we're doing. So I have pre-weighed out 17 grams of beans. I'm using um, a Kenyan coffee roasted by Broadsheet in Cambridge, and I'm just gonna get started. So 17 grams of beans are gonna go into the barazza. If you're using one of these at home, I'm going like two clicks back from 10, which if they're by twos, it's like eight, six, and then maybe like, let's say a seven. Um, so I'm gonna get those ground up. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna set my arrow press up so it's inverted. Um, which, if you're familiar with using an arrow press, you probably know how to invert it, but instead of putting the cap on, putting everything in there, and brewing it that way, we're actually gonna kind of flip it upside down. And I've pre-warmed this already. If you're at home, make sure to kind of pre-warm everything so you're not losing too much temperature. The basic recipe is gonna be 17 grams of coffee to 50 milliliters of water. It's a little bit different than uh, what Prismo recommends, which doesn't make a bad cup. Um, we just messed around, and especially with lighter roast coffees, this kind of ratio seems to really work for us. So coffee goes in. Seventeen grams. I'm just going to level it off just for safety's sake, and then the whole process here is going to take 55 seconds from the time the water hits the grounds to the time we flip and then plunge. So I kind of have everything set up. I have my Prismo ready to go. I have a stirrer, which I'm just using a butter knife today. I like to use a chopstick. Um, happens to to work really well. Or if you have a, one of those bamboo paddles, that works pretty good too. So I'm going to zero my scale out. Start my timer and I'm gonna just do a quick pour. I'm gonna get to that 50, which comes up real quick. Um, and then I'm just gonna give this a nice stir. I'm at 15 seconds already, so again, comes up quick. I like to leave the cap off for a little while. If you put it on really early and then let it sit there the whole time, it tends to build up a little pressure. And as you'll see, even on this, um, it might kind of shoot out a little bit on the flip, which is okay. So I'm gonna put my cap on. I'm at 30 seconds now. So I'm still gonna let that sit for a little while. And then just a quick thing to note too, I like to, to put my glass on upside down and then flip the whole thing instead of trying to flip in. Uh, it's just a little less messy because you'll see sometimes you get that squirt. So we're at 54, five, I'm gonna flip, and I'm immediately gonna plunge. And that's it. So you see, nice little crema, crema on there, um, and you have yourself some espresso style coffee, which you could then put hot water in for an Americano, or drink just like this, which I will. Uh, this recipe tends to give you uh, a very tart but not overly sour brew with uh, just a nice sweetness on the back end. So enjoy.